Welcome back to another episode of Extreme Gear. Foot Blaster, let's check it out. All right, let's get into the Foot Blaster. Let's see what they provided us. I have been waiting for, oh God, I don't know how long now in order to get a hold of one of these. Because for the longest time, I have been using a Roland Trigger. And I switched from from the red D drum triggers all the way to a Roland because I, I just thought, you know, I was seeing a lot of positivity with those and I thought I'd give them a shot. And it, you know, overall it's been a fantastic trigger. It, it, it's just that I cannot get the settings to where I don't get any type of, we'll say false triggering. I hit the snare drum, my kick goes off. I've played with thresholds. I played, you name it, I've played with it from a module. And yeah, it just, I, I can't get it to work. And I, I see all these other professionals that are rocking this bad boy right here. And I figured why not order it and give it a try. So we are gonna check out the Foot Blaster. So in the box, of course, you know, you see, gotta go to footblaster.com to check out how to do the installation on it. Of course, they include the double-sided tape because I will be securing these to a set of Axis A21 laser pedals. So they are not the Demon Drive ones where they screw in through the bottom. So we have our secure tape. And then of course we have the Foot Blaster. And of course I have, they send two at a time, which is fantastic. Here, so let's just check out what they provide in the bag. Also they include some Foot Blaster stickers. So we'll get rid of this box over here. So we'll definitely check that out for sure. But in the bag, we have one foot blaster and we have the second foot blaster so and of course the main difference as we talk about and of course they give us a bunch of stickers so the, the main difference we've got with this particular trigger style is that this trigger is mounted underneath the pedal and the footboard is actually going to strike the this striker substance or material here in terms of where the actual transducer is to send that signal down into your quarter inch connection which of course is underneath your footboard and dramatically different compared to a, a head mounted style trigger where i mean it works extremely well it's just that it's much more susceptible to vibration and any other kind of um, influence if you will from the head vibrating but um, overall, in terms of first impression, um, I mean, it looks like a, a pretty much a plastic block, could possibly be 3D printed. Um, looks like an aluminum material in terms of your, your top substance here with um, a foam product. And of course it is glued onto this metal plate. And the idea is once that is secured down to the bottom of your pedal, then you can adjust uh, the height of the trigger relative to your uh, pedal by simply bending that metal plate to make sure that you get the correct amount of contact that you want. Um, I hear this trigger works extremely well with singles as well as doubles and I hope it works for doubles because I'll be honest with you that's pretty much the majority of what I do and we're going to see how well they work all right let's check it out. All right so as we saw we got our ooh, very sticky tape <laughs> definitely good one we want that for sure double-sided we have our two foot blaster triggers and the idea is that we have to install the double-sided tape of course across the bottom and let's get these stickers out of the way uh, we'll keep those up here and as you can see i brought in my a21s from axis so i use a double pedal um, with them so of course be looking at a trigger per pedal and in this case, after watching the installation video, which of course can be found at uh, footblaster.com slash installation, the idea for this really is that this trigger will be installed underneath the pedal. And the idea is that you want pretty much about half the pedal surface to actually intersect with the trigger, the trigger surface itself. So somewhere approximately around there is how we're gonna wanna do this. So we are gonna try and see how well we can install these. Um, we're gonna find out, a little nervous about it because of course I want them to work extremely well. I mean, you look at all the various professionals that are currently using these right now. So and let's look at installing this. So what we're gonna do is basically look to center the adhesive material that they provide across the bottom surface of the trigger mount and we'll make sure we get some good adhesion on it. 
And then we're basically gonna look to cut the product to length. And of course, make sure that we do not cut our trigger cable. I probably could have used a pair of scissors, but I am using what I have available. So basically trigger number one will look like this. And again, our idea is that on, on the pedal here, we are going to look to install it probably somewhere in, in this vicinity because I want to make sure that when I get the stroke, and if I grab one of my beaters here, we look to put that in. I put a little, you gotta grab a drum key. I put a little bit of tape there just to keep my regular beater height. As you see, I don't run my beater at the full length. So we wanna make sure that we're gonna get about that kind of stroke in terms of your pedal downward motion. And then basically once that's installed, we will go ahead and we will bend that metal plate up in order to ensure that when that's striking, that it's just covering about half that surface and it's just touching the, um, the metal striking surface on the trigger. So we got the one done. So let's go ahead and put the adhesive tape on the other one and see how we do on that. If we review actually how long these took, I ordered these pretty much on a weekend and by about the following week, these were delivered. So I, I will say excellent, excellent service in terms of delivery. Of course, these came all the way from Europe. I am located in Canada. So these came extremely quick. I had zero issues actually getting these uh, delivered. Uh, no problems, no customs issues or anything like that. I had zero issues and were delivered to me pretty much, as I said, within a week's period. So extremely happy with that uh, service. Bring our pedal back in. So again, I'm gonna use a set of A21s to install this foot blaster on. So in this case, I have watched the installation video and I hope, of course, that I ultimately do this right. Okay, so we're gonna peel off the bottom side of the adhesive. And in this case, we are gonna look to put this trigger about, I'm gonna say approximately there is how we're gonna do it. And we'll press down both on the trigger body and of course where the one screw is. And then in this case, I'm going to bend this up as they ask. We will keep. Okay, so I would probably try about that position there in terms for the overall installation of that. And as you can see, I've had to bend the, the metal bracket here um, quite a bit in order to ensure that we get um, good striking surface with respect to the trigger. And as you can see, I mean, there's, you know, it's a foam surface on there. Um, we have our Piaggio under there for a transducer. And I've ran my cable, of course, it's right there for a quarter inch connection. So yeah, so when we bend it, of course, you're gonna definitely wanna put a decent amount of force on the bottom part of this in order to secure it. And then you're basically gonna wanna bend up um, in order to engage your footboard. So that's how we're gonna do that. So I'm not sure if that'll be the final setting, but I won't know until I actually get a uh, bass drum head in front of this pedal. So we're gonna try that for right now. So you can see I'm approximately halfway across the surface of the trigger strike. And we will now look at the other unit. All right, so we went ahead and of course installed the trigger on the second pedal as well. I also put in the beater, even though I normally run, of course, like I said, this as a double pedal, but I also installed the second trigger, uh, pretty much in the same location, uh, same idea. Again, just double-sided tape, secure that down. And of course, when you're gonna uh, get that correct angle, you're gonna wanna put your thumb there and, and make sure you don't really press on the trigger surface. It's just easier if you bend up in order to ensure that when that is striking, that your beater is about the right angle. Right there, you can see I'm about a, I'm ahead of the, the beater actually striking. 
the drum head, but I mean, as I get it over to the kit, we'll be able to bend that down and make sure that we are absolutely happy with it. And the important thing is we are pretty much still about halfway in terms of the surface of the, stri of the striking surface. But again, as you can see, I mean, there's a bolt here in order that secures this metal plate. So you can actually swivel that to make sure that you get exactly as they've instructed to really get half of that trigger surface directly in contact with your pedal. So, or your, the, the, the foot plate of your pedal. So overall, um, a pretty quick installation. And as you can see, I mean, pretty much that's what you get for both of them. So, so far, not too bad. I mean, I can, as you can see, they're at different angles, but I mean, I'll figure that out once I get it over to the kit. But overall, um, pretty, so far, pretty straightforward in terms to install. So we will see how they, how they play. All right, here we are back at the kit. I've got my pedals in place. Uh, the triggers are connected. I've used a purple quarter inch cable from my right hand pedal and a black cable on my left hand side. And you can see that I play left handed. So um, from, from this case here, I connected them both to a TM2 and I had to play around with the trigger settings a little bit in order to get them both to work. But because um, originally I never actually set up my second trigger input since I use a single bass drum and I used a rolling trigger. So I only ever set up the first input, never the second one. So um, overall, uh, it's a pretty simple setup. Uh, basically just have to bring one extra cable, if you will, to if I'm doing a show, uh, especially if it's at the rehearsal space, it's not a big deal at all, uh, since it's pretty much permanently set up. But uh, in this case here, you can see, it is simply two single quarter inch inputs over to my TM2. And um, yeah, so now I'll give it a try and see uh, how everything is working. Okay, here we are back at the kit. So as I talked about, I needed to set up my right trigger uh, with respect to the TM2 and that second input uh, was quite easy. Took me very little time in order to get all the settings set up the same as my left pedal. So when I give these a try, if we look at some simple singles, overall, pretty happy with the response. I know it's quite slow, but I, I really see these triggers as something meant extremely well for, for doing singles. But me as a doubles player is really where I'm focusing at. If I look at some slow doubles, again, really good response. If we start doing a mixture of singles and doubles, Again, getting really good response with respect to the trigger. So if we try something a little quicker. Again, not too bad at all. I'm extremely happy with those. I'll have to play around with my technique a little bit, but I'm very happy with them. All right, back at the bench. Hope you enjoyed it so far, but yeah, in terms of build quality for the foot blaster, I've definitely been impressed from the, the plastic base to the wire construction, um, the, even the making that quarter inch connectioner one, everything it seems it, it very, very solid. I think well-built, uh, well-engineered. Again, even the, the metal plate that you use to position that trigger relative to your footboard so you can adjust when it's striking, uh, again, seems extremely robust. I was concerned that it, it may fatigue over time, but I think after now handling it and actually positioning the trigger, um, it's something that I believe will definitely hold up. Um, even the, the trigger surface itself, again, is metal. So I think you're going to see minimal wear there. You should get some extremely long life. I think the, the only thing that, of course, I need to keep an eye on is the, the double-sided tape uh, method in order to secure the trigger body uh, to the pedal base. But, uh, I mean, you know, again, we've got lots of tape provided with the, uh, the triggers and the box. So... If for some reason I needed to reattach it, it really isn't a big deal. But in, in terms of addressing my immediate needs, which was the, the double triggering or false triggering from snare hits and drum hits, this definitely achieves that. And again, I had to spend minimal time in order to do uh, settings or whatnot in order to get both triggers to fire uh, pretty much exactly the same. Um, the only thing left for me is to continue to work on my technique. But uh, that's just how it goes. But overall, very satisfied with it. I would definitely say it's an, an extreme product. Um, definitely, you know, as you see, a lot of extreme drummers are, are playing it, and um, I certainly would highly recommend it. So make sure you guys definitely check it out. <laughs> <laughs>